Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back. We kind of have a little impromptu sit rep going on here, more of like a, like a pre-order sit rep thing. Anyways, it's an episode of Brick Mania TV where we talk about cool stuff, which is pretty much the entire channel. So nice. before we get into these awesome prototypes we have sitting in front of us, I just want to talk about a couple of specials that we have going on online right now. Um, one, we have a supply drop uh, from our retail stores um, of a bunch of sweatshirts that were previously exclusive Ooh. to the retail locations, now available online. Um, we have Holly's Hall. I don't know if you saw that on uh, on social media, uh, but there's a bunch of kits that she was able to scrounge up using her cat-like cunning <laughs> and uh, and basically uh, make those available. So those are now also online. Plus we have two awesome promotions, uh, one of which is buy three minifigs, get one free. And the other one is buy three printed elements and get one free, which includes perfect caliber, stuff like, you know, any printed elements basically. So those are all going on online right now, along with, my goodness, along with we found a whole bunch of magazines. Um, and so now those are also put online and those are going to remain BOGO in our stores and online uh, until that inventory is gone. So a whole bunch of cool stuff going on on brickmania.com right now, along with a whole bunch of cool pre-orders like both of these, which we we're about to get to, uh, but make sure you take advantage of that because our GHQ birthday sale ends Wednesday night. Uh, and so right now, Holly's Hall, the, uh, the BOGO, um, minifigs and printed elements, all that stuff you can get 15% off. So make sure to take advantage of that uh, through Wednesday evening. Okay, I had to get that out of the way. Wow, Got to run that's down great. That that's stuff so that's the first time I've heard on. that. So. <laughs> that's a lot of info. Pretty much the first time I heard <laughs> yeah. it too. So. Just regurgitating that. But yes, all right, so now let's talk about these because we have some awesome pre-orders. Obviously, this one has been available for a little bit, uh, selling quite well, which is awesome because it's the Hollywood edition. Yeah, it's from the movie Boys Who Fly. Sure. Legally different. <laughs> it is. A little different. Uh, but then tell me a little bit about this. All right, so this is the Sop with Camel, and it's been a couple of years, I think at least a couple of years since we've had the Sop with Camel in production, mm -hmm. and it's been waiting for an update for, I think, maybe four years almost. Okay. So uh, I finally got my hands on it, make some updates, add some curved slopes, because um, four years of different part types, there's a lot more you can do with a design. So pretty significant changes then? Yeah, there are a lot of significant changes. Um, otherwise, the color scheme is pretty much the same as the previous one. Mm -hmm. Tan on the bottom, and under the wings at least, and dark gray everywhere else, some reddish brown accents, and then some red, white, and blue on the tail. There will be a couple printed elements, um, one on each side, the roundels. Cool. The British roundels. And as well on the top and bottoms of the wings, you'll have stickers. Same round old pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, printed propellers, planning on that. You do get a couple machine guns, Vickers machine guns, the air air machine guns. Are they the same as the ones that are on here? No, those okay, are, those are, are uh, well, let's see, those are Maxim machine guns, I mm -hmm. think. Maxim air guns. Those are actually a two-part machine gun. Uh, more buildable. Got it. That version, this is just a one-piece okay. machine gun. They both look sweet sticking off the nose like that. They do. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really hard to cram these in as opposed to those, mm -hmm. just because the pilot sits so much more forward sure. in the camel than he does. Yeah, that was actually one of the things in camera guy. I don't know if you can get in there and kind of show that off. That is amazing how far forward and how much, like, yeah. compare the bodies of these planes. I mean, like, holy smokes. So we're building 135th scale vehicles, and brick arms aren't necessarily 135th scale. Mm -hmm. So they're a little bit larger than what they need to be, but that's just so they fit a minifigure better. Mm -hmm. So when you're including brick arms in a model, in a kit, it's it's hard to sometimes fit those things in there. Sure. Um, but I made it work. Yeah, so well, and it looks awesome. Uh, tell me about some of the other like part updates and, and what differs in this one from the old one. Uh, it's, I guess in the Fokker and in the Sopwith Camel, I've used some different connection techniques mm -hmm. um, that I first started. My first biplane was the uh, Newport 11. Uh, a couple years ago, mm -hmm. uh, so I incorporated a lot of those same techniques, at least in attaching the tail um, to the rest of the fuselage, mm -hmm. just clips right in, really simple build technique, um, should be fun. I don't know, to me that's a fun connection. It's satisfying I don't know when it comes it's together just, like that. When you just click something, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's easier to build when it's more sectional like that, you can just snap things together. Mm -hmm. um, the wing struts connecting the wings to each other, so there's the dihedral on the bottom, mm -hmm and the top of the wing is more straight across. And I went back and forth with a couple different techniques, uh, but I eventually landed on having a tile and plate connection. Mm -hmm. And I was able to make it actually a legal connection. Because um, you're dealing with two angles, one angle going off to the side, one angle going forward. Mm -hmm. And the wing is a brick and a half 
mounted forward. Okay. So it's a it's oh a sure. Yep, you can see the grid, the which, staggering. Mm -hmm. Which that's one thing I picked up on the differences between the previous model to my model is I think the original was a brick forward and this is a brick and a half forward. It's a little bit more accurate to the blueprints. Interesting. Um, and then uh, some updated tiles on top. You have a curved cutout. Whereas before you could really only build it square. So those are just some part updates that are obvious. Like, well, now I can do it. Sure. Um, as opposed to previous versions. Uh, pretty strong landing gear. Comes with one figure, one full printed figure. Um, so legs, torso, head. Sweet. Which this, that's the same for this one, correct? Same for that one as well. So you get full 360 printed figures in this kit. Love it. Um, as well as some other printed elements. Mm -hmm. And a couple mm -hmm. flaps or ailerons. I guess I don't really know biplanes, which is which, but I would say these are probably ailerons. Um, on top of the wings as well as the Fokker also has that yeah. detail as well. So I think that pretty much sums up some of the different build techniques, except for underneath the, the engine covering. Mm -hmm. I think Dan used the cylinder. It's like a four, four brick diameter cylinder. It's all one piece. And I felt it was a little more accurate to have a notch cut out Oh, okay. In the back of it, because mm -hmm. the pistons do protrude sure. underneath, so you can get easier access to them. Um, right behind um, the front of that Very engine cool. covering. Yeah, right. And then right in front of the landing gear where it's connected. So, some little tiny details that you're able to include mm -hmm. um, with some new part updates. Things like that. Very, very cool. So, the third now of Brickmania's 2020 World War I aircraft. Um, these are, th I mean, this is a line that I just am a huge fan of right now because they're just fun to look yeah. at. They're, they played a really cool part in history. And then, like, man, when you see, especially these part updates that you guys have been able to do now, like, Lego really fits these well. I mean, they, they <laughs> yeah. look awesome. Yeah, thank you. It's, uh, it's fun to hold them, too. They almost feel like they can fly just because there's so much wing more service? wing service yeah, than right. you do have with, the, with monoplanes. <laughs> I don't know. I just, you hold it up, and it's, it feels almost lighter than air. It just like mm -hmm. it could fly right away. Yeah, I like it. Well, and just the fact, too, that they're also coming with their own pilot minifigs and that we, you know, obviously Landon's really been stepping up his game over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, I mean, literally everything about these kits is, is premium World War One aircraft, which I know people have been waiting for for a while. So it's cool that we're able to bring this line back and uh, well, well done, Cody. And there will be more to come. Yes. Yeah, these aren't the only World War, World War One planes that we have planned. So. Oh, that's exciting. And once again, these are both prototypes, um, so there's a lot that will still be added to these. Obviously, we have neither minifigure and the minifigs or and the uh, printed elements and the stickers. Mm -hmm. um, so we will still do a designer's desk uh, and just kind of go over all the little elements uh, once the models are complete. But these prototypes are both available right now on BrickMania.com. There might even be some albatrosses uh, available in your stores as well, in case you want to like get the entire 2020 lineup. I know that's that's yeah. my plan. <laughs> so uh, make sure to pick those up. Uh, those are available for pre-order right now. And then remember those specials that I talked about at the start of this video, make sure to take advantage of those uh, because they will be closing down on Wednesday night, all except for the magazines, which will remain BOGO for the foreseeable future. Uh, Cody, anything else you want to add to these? I don't think so. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for joining me and thanks for watching.